NinjaX, the Enlightened Gamer. Welcome back to Let's Play Let's Complete Pokemon Blue. Last time we caught Articuno. Today, I guess the first order of business was to go into the Pokemon Center and I'm going to teach the remaining TMs that I have that I'm going to use to my party. I need TM 10, 3, and 45. Yep. I'm pausing because I'm looking back at my notes. I guess first I can go on ahead and deposit anything that isn't those. HMO for her. I don't need the card key anymore, I don't think. TM36. The protein. TM9. I have to keep on looking back to make sure that I'm not depositing something I need. HP up. Wait a minute. Huh! TMO3 is one of the ones I need! Calcium. Carboss. Rare candy. TM31. What? That's not good. I'm trying to find anything in the box that I can get rid of because I'm going to run out of room fast if I can't deposit. I could use my vitamins, but I'd rather save the money for later. Definitely don't need any more awakenings, not now that I have the Poke Flute. One case, lots and lots of TMs. So there's the self scope. Variance all. Okay, looks like that's it. I'm gonna go on ahead and toss those items. Yeah, I don't need the X accuracies. I know I could have sold these, but they're not worth enough money for it to really be worthwhile. Access PC. Gone ahead and deposit. My last two TMs, 31. Yep. And 46. Okay, TM3 was the first one we needed to use. So I'm gonna go on ahead and use that right now. Swords Dance. Remember Link's special move that made Link val made Link formidable? Yeah. It was tough to decide whether to give this to Amanita or Canucks, but I think Amanita can use it a bit more, being a physical attacker and having the bug type physical attack. Trying one sword dance, Amanita can't more for iPad, blah blah I'm just checking, guys. Don't worry about time. Okay. We're going to forget Slash. Which wouldn't have worked well with Swords Dance anyways. Okay, I'm gonna learn Swords Dance. Up next, I need to withdraw TMs 10 and 45. There's TM 45. Where's TM10? Where's TM10? TM10, TM10, T there, there it is. Okay. 
I'm gonna go on ahead and Peach TM10 to Dart. TM10 is Double Edge. Since Dart's a sweeper, he's one of the few members of my team that can actually take advantage of this move. And even though I am loath to part with Slash on Dart, Double Edge is more powerful and can get me out of more tight fixes, especially near the ends of battles. I'd forget Ember, but it's our only fire type stab for now. Anyways, goodbye Slash and hello Double Edge. That means our last TM for the day is TM 45, Thunder Wave. And naturally we're going to teach this to Pinball, who's the only one that can learn it. That's weird, I thought Shenron could learn Thunder. Well, I guess that's Thunderbolt. Pinball's trying to learn Thunder Wave, Pinball can't learn more than four moves, lead an older S to yes. We're going to forget Sonic Boom at long last. Pinball forgot Sonic Boom and learned Thunder Wave. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go on ahead and speed up really quick because I missed a trainer on the route east of Seafone on Route 20. Seafone, Seafone. Three, two, one, go. Huh. Never mind, guys. Apparently, he wasn't a trainer after all. It's gonna be so hard to figure out if I beat all the trainers in this game or not, because there's really no list that I know of that just has all the trainers that's accurate to this day. Well, at any rate, we're gonna go and take care of Cycling Road. Which means first we get to get revenge against Snorlax for what happened during when you we were trying to catch it. Not really revenge, but we're definitely going to take this one out and we're going to do it fast. Okay, Flute. On ahead. Yeah. Let's see if this is an Oko, like I think it could be. You bulky little... It's over. So much easier when you're not trying to catch it, right? Cannot screw a level! For the big young Snorlax return to the mountains. Oh, right, hold on. We need to switch Canucks down. I'm gonna go on ahead and take care of Cycling Road while we're here. So I'm gonna have to speed up for quite a while. For me, not for you guys. Cycling Road and the trainers that have Doduo in the Doduo patch next to Fuchsia. Speed up in three, two, one, go. Hey everybody, Fast Motion Me here. I just wanted to pop in for just a second to tell you how important it is for me that you guys leave comments in the comments section below. Liking and subscribing is great, but I also would really like to generate some genuine curiosity, some genuine comment, some, some discussion below. Anything you guys have questions about, I would love the opportunity to try and answer them. I can't guarantee I'll be able to come up with an answer, but I would love to just take a swing at it. Please help me out here by letting me help you out here. I know I might seem like I talk about this too often, and a lot of that's just because I am a new channel. I know that as I release 10, 12 Let's Plays down the road, that there will be enough people that have subscribed or follow me at the very least that will be curious enough to ask me questions. But I want to ask you guys... I want to ask you guys, you're the first. That doesn't mean that the ones down the road won't be important, 
but you guys are the ones that are helping me out during my early infancy, during my embryonic phase on YouTube. And it has been such a great ride. Has it been a lot of work? Of course it's been a lot of work at times. But it's been worth every second. And I just wish that I could talk to you guys about it in the comments section. But nobody seems to want to leave comments. The few comments I've gotten on my videos have been immediately deleted thereafter, which isn't suspicious at all. The only real comments I've been able to respond to is... There's one sub of mine that tends to share my Viva Pinata side videos, which personally I have no problem with. Anybody that wants to share my content, talk about my content, like my comment content, subscribe to my channel, is automatically awesome in my book. People who just drop by and watch are great, but why settle for great when you can be awesome? Anyways, I don't really have much more than this to talk about, so I'm going to keep on going about just how much I would love it if you guys would just go down to the comments and leave something. Even if you want to be a hater, I honestly, at this point, I never really respond to haters. I don't tend to feed the trolls anymore. I used to. But just somebody say something. That lets me know that you're paying attention. I know that I have faults with my process right now. I know that my camera doesn't exactly record audio flawlessly. It automatically desyncs after 20. It, it automatically de and resyncs with itself, and so it's not really fluent. And I tend to be saying things a little too early or a little too late. And there's really no way for me to adjust it or fix it that I know of. But that's another thing you guys could talk to me about. Maybe one of you out there has been making videos for longer than me. Which wouldn't be a surprise. I've only been making them for about a little more than a month. And maybe you could give me pointers. Maybe you could say, hey, whenever you do this, you make sure to do this and this. Then I can make better content for you guys. I know that I tend to struggle with pauses in my videos as well, and I'm working on that. Alright guys, we're dropping back in. It'll only have been a couple minutes to you, but it's been almost 20 to me. Anyways, we finished Cycling Road. I guess there's only one area left to do before we actually tackle Cinnabar Island, and that would be west of Seafoam Route 20. I'm gonna go on ahead and just keep this slow for a little bit, give you guys a bit of a breather, give me a bit of a breather too. <sighs> okay. I can't believe we're already getting ready to ta tackle the Pokemon Mansion for real. Feels like just yesterday. Time really flew with this one. Anyways, guys, speed up in three, two, one, go. Hey guys, fast motion me again. I guess I shouldn't, if I'm wanting you guys to go into the comments, I should at the very least give you something to talk about. How about this? I sent this to my Facebook followers recently. Why don't you give a shout out to whoever you whoever your favorite final member of the member of the final party is? See if I can actually speak. Is it the OG Dart? Is it the incredible Shenron? Maybe Amanita the... Evolved. Uh, Canucks the MVP. Pinball the understated. Or he likes to throw his hands up in the air sometimes. Salvo. Who knows? I'm not going to tell you who my favorite is because I don't have a favorite. I love them all equally. And I can actually say that with a straight face. I can say it. I love them all equally. Because they all mean the same thing. They're from my very first Let's Play. Okay, guys. We're dropping right back in. I, um... I've cleared up nearly every trainer in the game now. Really, all that's left is Victory Road, the last two gyms, and the Pokemon Mansion. 
and of course the Elite Four and a couple more rival battles. But I was gonna say that's not gonna be for a while, but really it's coming up really fast. Well, I've been going for about, I'm gonna have to guesstimate, 12 minutes, so I'm gonna assume that I have about 12 more to go. Here we go. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, but I already have a muck. Escape rope. Throw my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, hey, I gotta let go. Gotta celebrate and live like grime, saying, hey, oh. Something about a something. I think that was all that was on this first floor, at least until we get into that section right to the lower right of where I'm standing right now. I was going to show you by bumping up against it, but... Oh. Time for a new trainer class. Eventually. I can't get out! This whole place is one big puzzle! You know, I could not figure this area out as a kid. Could not do it. It's so simple now, but... Okay, your Charmander is two levels from evolving into a Charizard. Just level it up twice and let it evolve both times and you'll have a Charizard. Then it can do this. Goodbye, Charmander. Oh, maybe he does have a Charizard. I didn't see if he had two or three. Goodbye, Charmelon. Blech. Oh no, my back of loot! Burglars tend to have tons of money on them. And unlike normally, where I can just kind of fly through the burned building on my own time, we have to explore every single inch. Diary, July 5, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the Amazon jungle. More real world references! It's talking about Mew coming from South America. I got a calcium, now I'm gonna run over and touch a button eventually. You know, I was thinking about the scientist who uses the cloning machine. I bet that he got the cloning machine from this building. He calls it a resurrection machine. I think that's because he doesn't understand what it does. It's a cloning machine. Press it. Who wouldn't? Well, a lot of people actually, but... Ah. Uh. I found three Weezings. There's a 1% chance, I mean, not in just this one run, but in the last two. There is a 1% chance of finding a Weezing. Diary, July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon, Mew. Yep. Didn't even get to move. Vulpix, adorable, but I already have one, as huge. Ponyta, I already have one. Can I walk a few feet? Already have one. I know there are people that are probably gonna be like, why don't you just buy a Max Repel? And I could buy a Max Repel. 
But if I buy a max repel, then that means one more item space I have to worry about taking up. And now that I've maxed out my PC, at least in terms of items, I don't really have that luxury. Ah. Run away from Grimers, cause why not? Push the switch to open the door to the place. Sorry guys, I'm starting to get a little bit sleepy again. Nowhere's near as bad as episode 38 though. Here's where we caught Magmar. I always kind of thought Magmar was interesting. But it just is never really powerful enough to warrant my using it. Then in Gold Silver, it got a baby form with Magby. And Magby is just awful. Its stats aren't that bad for a first former, certainly not for a baby, but holy crap, its evolution level is so high for Gold Silver. Which is ridiculous about that, anyways. Level 40 Pokemon in Gold Silver, you would probably not have them after the Elite Four beating every single trainer in the region. In Johto. one of the few really big problems in that game. Wait a minute. I skipped a door. But I... Can I move? Really? There it is. Diary, February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. This place is like huge! It's funny that they said Mew gave birth to Mewtwo in the diary entries instead of them creating Mewtwo, because all the canon says that Mewtwo was cloned from Mew. somebody knocking on my door. That was the interrupting cat interrupting. Like he do. Sorry guys for freezing up like that. I kind of panicked a little bit. To be perfectly honest. You defeat a burglar. Ah! Got some Monet. I wonder where my partner went. Well, this definitely looks like somewhere where somebody would hide an item. I found a Max Revive! There's another item. A Max Potion. I know there are some TMs in here too, that's why I'm picking everything up. Well gone on for quite a while, but not we haven't quite tapped out the time limit yet. I think I'm going to go for a little bit longer. Hang on, let me figure this. It says 14 minutes on my camera. I figured it was about 8 minutes prior to that. Maybe... I don't know. I'll just go to... 18 minutes on my camera. Because remember, it rolls over at 20, so I don't really have a good idea of where junk and stuff is happening. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes. Get away from me. I already have one of you. My main car once lived here. Magnemite! Magnemite! Magnemite is going to explode now. Crap.
Goodbye, Magnemite. Ooh, Magneton. Did Dart just not get hurt once in confusion? Level 41! Of course you have more. Overwhelming! Well, this seems like a waste of a room. Maybe it's not, but it certainly seems that way. Is this the right one? I can never remember which one's correct. I guess I have to take both of them anyways. Come on, game. I don't even need Dart out front anymore. I can switch Shenron out front, which is going to be awesome for the burnt, for the Pokemon Mansion. Well. I guess we're going to have to finish this next time. That's the timer. Until then... I've been Ninjo X the Enlightened Gamer. Stay enlightened.